Hi everyone and welcome back to our skill system tutorial series in Unreal Engine 4. And this is uh, episode 2 and where we left off last time is we set up the skill system component with some basic functions and basic variables. And in this episode we're going to demonstrate how to do the querying to unlock uh, maybe a, an ability for the player character or uh, an effect they may have. In this case we're going to test out double jumping which can be one of the first skills our game has and we're going to set it up so we unlock it and allow the player to double jump. Now if you don't know how double jump works by default um, in your player character in the class defaults you'll find in there on the character options jump max count is set to 1. This is a variable that we can change and we can change it on begin play when we're working out what skills we currently have. So on my skill system component I'm going to right click, or not right click, left click on this and then on the right hand side you should see skill unlocks. I'm going to plug in there and just type in double underscore jump and we'll put it as a skill unlock of one. Now I'm hard coding this in when we get to that point later on what we'll do is we'll be having an, a UI where we can click on a button we'll spend some perk points and unlock this through that means but for testing purposes we're going to keep it like so. So once we've got that there we now need to set up the ability to check that against our skill system at the start of the game. So to save time I'm just going to delete this top part entirely because it's all about VR we ain't, got, we ain't doing VR so we can leave that out and I'll just put in begin play in again so at the start of the game on begin play um, we're going to determine when we want to check for our skill system and this is important you you can put the check wherever you like uh, but it has to make sense so it makes sense we're going to set up the player to have double jump when we have unlocked it so to do that we've got begin play at the start of the game and then we're going to drag our skill system component out and we're going to do query skill and the row name we're looking for is double jump if it's successful this will come out true so we're going to put this into a branch and if it is true we're going to change the max number of times you can jump now this is a class setting on the character actor so we can just type in here jump and you'll see uh, get max oh, get uh, jump max count and so set max jump uh, set jump max count use this set jump max count if it's true max count is going to change to 2 if it's false then we're going to leave it as is hit compile and that is all it takes to check for that query so when I play the game now it should allow me to double jump because we hard coded that query in and there you go I can now double jump so if to show it working without it if I go into my player character and we'll go into our skill system and not give us this we can delete that at the start of the game when we jump I can't jump I can't double jump I'm only getting single jumps okay that's because the skill hasn't unlocked yet so there is the most basic way of getting that system to work but what about environmental stuff? Well, how can we make that work? Well, let's set up a simple door. Um, I'm not going to go through how to do the door in this episode, but what you should do is check out my door tutorial videos. I've got many of them. You can check out how to do basic doors and come back to this video when you've done that and uh, we can test this out. So here I've made my door. And I say, if you have, don't know how to do this, check out my open door tutorials. There's many of them many different types. We've done a simple uh, button prompt one so I'll walk up to it, hit E key and it'll open up and I can walk away and it'll close. So as you, as you can see it just opens regardless. So what we're going to do is put a limitation on it so it can only open if I've got a particular skill. So let's go ahead and show how to do this. If you open up your door you should have something like this where you've got open door and closed door handling the actual motion of the door and then you've got the overlaps the begin overlap and the end overlap which do the various things such as enabling inputs, disabling inputs and closing the doors, opening the doors and so forth. 
So part of that is you get this cast where you're checking whether or not the players inside the uh, area for interaction. And as first person character is one of those nodes that comes out. We can use that to come off here and get the skill component. And if you scroll down to bottom, you should get it. Skill component. Now, because we now got a skill component, we can then do a query skill. And the name of our skill was still grip. So do still grip. And if it is successful, we're going to tell it to enable the input. So we're going to put in a branch. And then we're going to take this and enable input. And plug this in over here for true. So I can only then do it if I have this skill required. So the player controller I need to plug into here. Let's just get player controller again. And there you go. So now it will only work if I've got that skill. So to test this out, I push play, and it shouldn't open when I hit the E key, which it's not. So let's now add the skill to the player character. Uh, so I go to skill system, and again, we're just going to hard code it in, we're just typing the name here. This will be later on replaced with a UI element. Still grip, and we'll change the value to 1, and hit compile. So now, when I push play, hit E, and door opens. And that could be anything, that could be like um, maybe mounting a horse, uh, getting into a car, uh, maybe key cards, um, hacking terminals, anything you want. You can do this various check. So long as you get a hold of the player character through like something like a cast and get hold of a skill system component, you can achieve a simple query. And that query then will turn out true or false and then you can uh, go ahead and do whatever you need to do to uh, react to it. Now, part of it is that there are tiers. So how do we work out the tier? Well, quite simply, we look at the tier level here, and we say this door can only open when this tier level is um, above a certain value. So not only would you have success going into the condition, but you also have this going into condition as well. So tier level here, we can drag out and do is uh, greater than or equal to. And we say you need a skill at uh, tier level two and this would be then be combined into an AND boolean, meaning both have to be true in order for this branch to output true. And hit compile. So now it won't open because that uh, tier value is set to 1. And there you go. But if I were to go back to my player character and change the uh, skill, still, drip, still grip to tier 2, and compile that, and then hit play. It will now open, and it is as simple as that. So that, but in a nutshell, is how we use skills and how we can use skills in the environment and on the player for certain abilities and skill sets. What we're doing after this now is working on the UI elements to allow us to um, upgrade the skills through UI by spending perk points, earning those perk points, and unlocking unlocking the various tiers available to you. So join us in that next part right now on patreon.com forward slash rylaley where a donation of just one dollar will get you access to that video plus many many others. Big thank you to all my patrons for their continued support. None of this would be possible without you guys so thank you once again. Thank you so much. If you have yet to subscribe to the channel please please hes uh, don't hesitate and hit the subscribe button down below this video. Like this video too, it helps us out greatly and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below, it really is useful as well. Thank you everyone and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.